So uh, this is a chat about a project that I started uh, a couple of years ago, almost two years ago. The uh, chat is entitled C++ in tu idioma or C++ in tu idioma, which is documenting C++ for Spanish speaking um, engineers, developers, enthusiasts. And um, I highlighted there that it's on, uh, on cppreference.com. All right. Uh, this is a little bit about me. Uh, I work for Motorola Solutions. Um, you can find my information there on the blog. Um, I'm the translator for these uh, two books. One of them is uh, C++ 17. You've probably heard of it in, in English. This is the, the uh, Spanish version from uh, Nicolai Jostaris. Um, also, um, this is uh, the Lambdas in C++, in, which is uh, from... Um, uh, Bartek. And the other one, you know, if you ever want to read someone poems, uh, you know, you can still find it supposedly in uh, in Amazon. It's listed there. All right. So why? Why? <clears throat> why are we doing this? Well, it may come to you as a surprise that the that the second language in the world with most native speakers is Spanish. But if you look, for example, in um, in official stats, right? From uh, Mexico, about 12% of the population speak English, but only 4% speak it fluently. So when you come to technical knowledge, right? It's it's different. It's, uh, it's um, uh, I'm gonna call it the, the entry bar is, is high, particularly cost, right? If you want really want to go to a good school to learn English. All right. so. So what I've done is that I've updated um, a C++ reference, uh, so a C++ reference in Spanish with a lot of stuff that you can go and find. Uh, you can probably see this. This is the, the site, right? And this is what's being translated in 2020, 2021. Uh, you can see here uh, all of the thread stuff, right? So this is um, um, Jthread is there, all of the new and, and cool things, uh, variable, excuse me, uh, semaphores, latches, all of that, um, atomic operations, uh, iterators. You can see I'm highlighting this on purpose, right? This in red is not there. So you can translate it if you want. Now, going back to the slides, right? There's a lot that is in progress. If you uh, feel inclined to help, Right. Uh, hopefully, you'll be uh, participating. Um, so, this is a uh, new thanks be to Gutbolt. If you use Compiler Explorer, you can try this. Uh, since August, you can you can uh, click on search on CPP reference, and if you are on a Spanish speaking country, then uh, it'll take you to the uh, version in Spanish. Right. Um, so that's a, that's a good thing. So what can you do if, what, what if you feel inclined to, to help? Okay, so let's assume you want to translate it to language X. Uh, well, you can teach Google, right? It uh, has a few problems, but you can teach it until it learns, uh, make a standardized uh, list of terms, right? And pick uh, one set of terms and just keep, keep at it. Uh, some terms don't exist in Spanish. So you have to, Pick something that <laughs> that matches it. Um, some others you can form using uh, the language. Excuse me. Uh, you can use use uh, language. Others that exist, but uh, they're not very well known. Uh, like uh, elision, uh, spurious, uh, signature, right? Uh, spin, uh, buffer. All of these exist in Spanish, but uh, are not very common. Um, if you use, uh, or if you want to translate particularly in Spanish, you may use accented letters, uh, right? Uh, it's easier than having to do the, the alternative. In closing, I want to pony other translators. Uh, I would like to start with C++ core guidelines in Spanish, boost in Spanish, more sessions in different languages other than English, particularly to reach to schools, and uh, particularly in Latin America, more people to join C++ Mexico. There is a group that is ongoing and you can contact me uh, on those um, two contact information uh, pieces. And that's, that's, uh, that's it. Thank you very much.